Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of the new WooCommerce Builder for Divi. So WooCommerce now has Divi Builder compatibility on the product pages. So there's modules, there's about 16 new modules that Elegant Themes released and allows us to you know, build the WooCommerce product page just like any other page. So this is really exciting. We're gonna just do a little walkthrough. I have a demo site installed. We're just gonna check it out, see what it's, what it's like, and give you our first impressions. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing I discovered, I was looking around in theme options, came across this by accident, but um, under Builder, they added a new, it's called product content. So I do have WooCommerce installed and I added some demo products. So that's why this is coming up, I think. I doubt that would come up if I did not have WooCommerce installed. Anyway, there's this drop down: default or build from scratch. Um, do not use default. <laughs> um, I'll show you why. I think they need to work on something. I did report that. But build from scratch, I don't understand their terminology, build from scratch. To me, that seems like if I'd go to the product page, there would be nothing there and I would just start adding modules. But by having it on build from scratch, it's actually the other way around. It's it's like, here, I'll show you. Um, this, is a, this, is, this is not built with the Divi Builder. This is WooCommerce out of the box and you know how horrible it's been for years with Divi. This is, you know, this is it. This is what you get when you add information and things to a WooCommerce product. So, um, I'm going to go to the back end because I want to show you that drop down again. So, I could have just enabled the Divi Builder there. But, up here there's going to be a drop down that appears. So this is very, this is very simple. This is what we've been used to seeing for years. So, when I turn this on, see, here we get this new product content. Now, this is the same thing that I showed you in the theme options. This one uh, would be, you know, per page basis, while this one back here would be global. And again, keep it on build from scratch. Keep this on build from scratch. All right, so now I wondered what would happen when I first. I think when I first played around with this, I was expecting maybe to have to add modules, especially with that terminology, like build from scratch. And I was surprised and delighted, and you know, this it makes sense, that what they just did was the WooCommerce elements that were already here, they simply became modules without me doing anything. It makes sense. So, you're going to see this uh, notice, a cart notice, and it kind of gets in the way. It, it, it's kind of annoying. I guess they didn't know what to do with it. Obviously, this only shows when I when someone clicks on add to cart, but it's kind of annoying that it has to be here. Like I was building some um, course landing pages for our website last night, and it was like I, I couldn't design the page correctly because this thing's hovering in my face. But... I guess if you deleted it, it would not show when I click add to cart. I don't know. So I'll, that was, I don't know. Someone test that out, but don't do it on a live site. So we have breadcrumbs at the very top. We have the cart notice. Here's the product title. Here's the price. Uh, what's this one called? Short description? Oh yeah, this one's called description and you can pick short or long. This is the add to cart button, and I really like something here. It has, when you go into elements, show quantity field, show stock. Uh, I was working on a course landing page for a bunch of our courses that we're releasing at PA Creative, and you know, you can only buy one, so it was really nice to be able to turn off the stock and this here, because it's not like someone's going to buy two or three courses, they're going to buy one. So. Here's the gallery. Elements here. Kind of cool. Uh, the sale badge. I should have made this on sale just to show you, but here we can turn off 
gallery images and it's just going to show the featured image. So again, featured image, not not the first image of the gallery, but featured image. I learned that because when I turned off featured image, it pulls, these are just the ones that were in the gallery, see, one, two, three. So it doesn't have the featured image. I'm not quite sure why. I think like if it, if it's me thinking through this correctly, let's just say I wanted the main image up here, but I wanted to add this module somewhere else on the page, like down here, like you're making a real nice design, you know, and you want to put it down here. And you want to add like just the the product gallery images. You would turn all featured, but it still shows one big. So maybe I'm missing something. That seems like an oversight, but something that I can deal with. That's fine. Um, here's all this metadata. I, <laughs> you know, we really don't need that these days. I mean, unless you have a specialty site. But tabs, we can get rid of all this now. Meaning that you could display this this additional information, reviews in their own modules. So here is the upsell, and again you can pick columns and all this stuff, things that you would expect, related products, and that's it. So let's see, now that we have these tabs, let's see what else we can add. They're all at the bottom, I'm not sure whatever happened to their, in the sneak peek that they had, they had it like, so all of these WooCommerce ones, it showed them like WooCommerce, and then you clicked on here and it goes to an extra menu. I guess they decided not to do that. So let's see what we're missing here. So, add to cart, additional info. See that's that tab right there, see that? So if you don't want to use the traditional and maybe stale tabs for WooCommerce, go ahead and just add that info right there. You can make a lot nicer layouts. All right, let's see what else we're missing here. Woo images. Hey, this may be the answer to what I was doing earlier. Okay, maybe not. Woo, I'm confused. Woo images. Is that different than woo? There was another woo something gallery. Okay, and now I'm getting confused. Maybe this is just the gallery. Wait. Oh. Okay, so this is. Wait, right, grid? There we go. That's what I was thinking of earlier, where you want to display. Okay, so it becomes like the normal gallery module, similar, where you have either slider or grid. Well, that's great. I don't know where the slider arrows are. Okay, well that's cool. Okay, so there's gallery. I guess, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. This is called image setting. All right, we'll move on. Okay, uh, reviews, that's in usually in a tab. So here we have, well, new, yeah, woo rating and woo reviews. So the reviews is the one that's typically in the tab where you can actually leave your review. The rating would be just the little stars that you normally see up here. In fact, let's just add that here. Of course, oh, there's no rating. Okay, no one's reviewed this. No one's reviewed this product? Hmm. Okay, so here we have sale badge. What else are we missing? There's 16 of them. Title, stock. Okay. Well, that's boring. It just shows the stock. But, okay. I mean, you could play with that. You could be like, you could make like a product landing page where you say only and then have that big 23 in stock. Order now. Related, we, we were looking at all these price, meta, description. Oh, red chrome, cart notice, add to cart, OK. 
Okay. That's it. It's amazing. I guess that is 16 of them. Yeah, the description one, I noticed in here, you have short description or description. I, I guess that makes sense. I always call it long description, but yeah, this is the description that you would write in your main product. So apparently that's the 16 modules. And um, what I was saying earlier about that drop down where you choose the build from scratch or default, I'm going to show you what happened when I used that, the default. It was really strange. So here's starting, it looks like a normal page, right? Look, it put, it put the whole page inside this description. Do you see that? It's so weird. So I wonder if I, I wonder if it would just keep going and keep adding the page inside the description. But anyway, that's when you're using default. So I, I reported it. Hopefully the guy takes me seriously. That would be kind of rare, I know. Um, I tend to have long, long arguments sometimes with support, but hopefully they can replicate that. But yeah, like here, I have it, this product content on default. And I did try putting it back to build from scratch and I think once you do it it's it's you're you know it's too late so yeah that's pretty much it now the last thing that surprised me so when I use dynamic content with the blog module or other things like that custom post types a lot to me the dynamic content was coming from that page but they've taken it a good bit farther. So now I'm just going to a normal page. And I can add those modules that we were just looking at on any page. I this is really this is like a surprise they snuck in or something. It surprises me. Maybe maybe it doesn't you, but look, all these show up. I was thinking, you know, these would only show up when you're on a WooCommerce product page. So let's just let's just add something here. What would be a good one? Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we have to kind of piece it together, don't we? Do an add to cart. Now, check this out. Latest product. Or I can choose one of these other ones. So, if you want to add an add to cart, cart button somewhere on your website there you go let's see and there you want to put some reviews maybe you have some kind of landing page that's not on the product page and you want people to see testimonials or ratings or a price let's see cart notice I don't think you'd want want that on on any of these pages, maybe the gallery. Maybe what you could do is is create like this section on your home page and say latest products or latest product. I guess you could add multiple ones here too. But latest product, you keep it on that or you could pick one or featured you could say featured product and pick that one. So again, I'm just on this any old page and I'm adding these elements it's or modules it's pretty cool I don't know if I'll use this very much I can see how it could be helpful to people but I really don't I don't see myself like using this a whole lot but I think that's neat you can do it from any page so anyway again of course I can on this or the product pages the the beauty of it is that you can mix and match you know modules that are for WooCommerce or modules that we've known and used for years. All right, so let's take a look at some things that are a lot prettier than this. Let's take a look at some demos. These are product pages. See this, how they're styling this price, styling this add to cart button. Um, and again, this is just, this is the gallery or probably saying the wrong thing, you know, the images, the Woo images. Kelly styled this. 
I'll have to check that out. Apparently you can do like lines like this. Because every other. That'd be cool. It's almost it's like a table. I'm gonna check that out. So anyway, that's an example. Here's some reviews. And then again, they just it's like this perfect mix. That's, I'm going to check that out. All right, next one. Luxury watch. Big title. Rating. I'm not sure if this is the featured image. It may be. It may be set as featured image as... Uh, let's see. How would they do that as the background? Can you do that? That's the next thing I should have checked. I should have checked that for you guys. Can you add dynamic content? Like, let's say I want to go to this background. Or, yeah, here. Can I add... Okay, that's really strange. Why are we not seeing... Well, featured image. Huh. How could we add product reviews to a background? What? How, why does that work? That's a, that's a bug. That's silly. I mean, featured image, sure. I mean, that makes, we've had that, um, wow. But, yeah, there should be, like, a product image. I'm not sure how they did that one. Okay, so we're going down here to this one. How's this styled? Is it, like, attribute text? I am so confused how they did that. But anyway, someone let me know. This is, looks like, these are probably just image modules, plain old image modules, plain old text, review. Okay, some of these are, you know, they're elegant themes. They're kind of a little silly sometimes, impractical. But, wow, pretty crazy. It's pretty powerful. Just take a look at some of these. This is nice. What do they do here? How they how they style this without CSS? That's kind of cool, too, how they have the... Okay, what is this? What? I don't know what I just clicked. Can we stop it? <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway, that was nothing. Of course, they're getting all fancy, but these are just image modules with additional info. Add to cart. They like the review module, don't they? nice you can adjust the price size I was working on some landing pages last night it, it is really nice it's incredible like the and here they just set a background for the the column I think and this is when you have variations so apparently inside the when you have variations enabled maybe there's a setting to style those it's pretty impressive though what you what they're doing wow uh, how did they do these? I'll have to check the code, but anyway. I mean, they're nice layouts. They're very broken grid. I know that's really in right now. I'm afraid it's not going to always be in. But, and this is simple. I like how simple that is. I like that. Okay, so I'll stop rambling. All right, so that was our first impression of the Divi WooCommerce Builder. So as you can see, there may be a couple of things they need to work out and improve, but overall, I'm really happy with this. I've used this uh, the other night. I was building a bunch of landing pages for my courses and just the flexibility to be able to build like a normal Divi page and then, you know, add the different features wherever I wanted them. It's just, this is really, you know, groundbreaking here. Um, of course, they are a little behind the other builders, but we'll give them a break. They've done a really good job, especially with adding the extra dynamic content there where you can, you know, add the product features from different pages. So no, overall, definitely very happy. I think there's a lot of room to improve, like the cart pages, the checkout pages. Those are all very stiff. I think they could really improve them, focus on some conversion features there, things like that. But overall, my first impressions are good. Hopefully my little 
tour, my little bit of rambling is, you know, helpful to you, especially if you haven't been able to play around with it yet. All right, well, that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video.